Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another beautiful day full of tea. Girl, it is Thursday, so welcome back, everyone. Good morning, girl. Today is a very special day. Not only the weekend is almost here, but later today, I am having my exclusive interview, okay, with one of the real housewife of Salt Lake City. So you do not want to miss this, uh, miss this, because yesterday was part one of the reunion of Salt Lake City, and what I'm gonna show you, it's like not even close to what was shown at the reunion. So girl, get ready. That's the only thing, get ready, okay? 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time she will be here okay so now it is time to start our day with the top up of the morning as usual right where we're going to be talking about all of these pop culture streets uh, but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe uh, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh mess not today, neck. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where That's my attack! You ruined it. Right. You ruined it. Oh, you, ruined it. Oh, you did. Oh. What the f is this? The lies. There you the go. The lies. This <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Welcome back everyone and it is time to do the top up of the morning and we should just dive in with item number one because yesterday Miss Paris Hilton and her husband Carter at Rome just welcome their first baby boy. Yep, you hear that right. I know if you are wondering like why, you know, when was he she pregnant? Like you haven't seen any pictures, like where was the scandal, where was the tea? Well, that's because everything was like super secret and no one knew about it. And of course, she was not pregnant. It was through surrogacy, which to be honest, guys, like girl, I don't even know how women do the whole, you know, pregnancy thing. I think they are heroes just for that. So if I was a girl, I will be like, no, bitch, mm -mm, I'm doing surrogacy because, <laughs> because I am not doing all of that. But anyways... Uh, I think, um, you know, remember that Kathy Hilton kind of like said that that Paris Hilton was having like problems, having kids and that she was going through IVF and all of that. And then Paris Hilton kind of like denied the whole situation. Well, maybe there is some truth. I mean, they haven't really said anything. But the thing is, you know, she got her baby. It's a baby boy and she is very happy. So congratulations to both of them, because this is just the beginning of, you know, the next generation of the Hilton. So this is insane, to be honest. Okay, so let's move on into item number two. Because, girl, I mean, what is going on with Britney Spears fans? I mean, it's just so crazy. It's just another level, like at this point. So police, cops were called at Britney Spears house okay after she deleted her instagram account okay this is like the the weirdest thing ever britney spears deleted her account like you know every other week she's like mm, i'm bored today what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna you know delete my account it's like the way that she does it like i don't know i don't know what she's going through her mind but that's that's just who she is and now she deleted it and the fans well the you know conspiracy theorists and all of that you know went crazy and they were like oh my god she's not safe she's not safe and they start calling the police like crazy and until they were like okay we're gonna go and check out what the hell is going on so the police was there they checked that everything everything was fine they said that there was no reason to believe that she was in any danger or absolutely anything and it's like girl just leave this poor woman alone. I mean, I think if we all just stop talking about it, she will be way more happier. At this point, honestly, if I was Brittany, I would just come forward and say, like, leave me the fuck alone, okay? I am fine. But, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, the whole point is, like, people are going crazy with this series. People saying that she was cloned, that she is not alive, that she... I mean, all kind of, like, crazy things. It's like, girl, she already was a slave for, like, 13 years. Can you... Can, like, 
can a bitch live? You know, like if she doesn't want to be an Instagram, just let her not be an Instagram girl. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments below. So let's move on into item number three because we have the Grammy. I mean, we already knew about the Grammy nominations, you know, and now we already know who is going to be uh, singing and the whole thing about the Grammys. OK, so let me read you this very quickly because it's a little bit long. It says the first round of performers for the 65th the 65th annual Grammy Awards have been announced. Taking the stage will be current nominees Bad Bunny, Ma Mary J. Blind, Bleach, Brandy Carlisle, Luke Combs, Steve Lacey, Liso, Kim Petras, and Sam Smith. The show will be broadcast live on CBS on February 5th of 2023 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time from Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles and hosted by Trevor Noah. Prior to the telecast, the Grammy premiere ceremony will be broadcast live from the Microsoft Theater at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and will be streamed live on live.grammy.com. Additional performers will be announced in the coming days. Two-time Grammy winner Bad Bunny is up for three nominations, Album of the Year, Best Pop Solo Performance, and Best Music Urbana Album. Nine-time Grammy winner Blige is nominated for six awards, including Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Best R&B Performance, Best Traditional R&B Performance, Best R&B Song, and Best R&B Album. Six-time Grammy winner Brandy Carlisle is nominated for seven awards this year, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Best Rock Performance, Best Rock Song, Best Americana Performance, Best Americana Root Songs, and Best Americana Album. Um, Three-time Grammy winner Liso is nominated for five awards, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Solo Performance, and Best Pop Vocal Album. Whew. Um, Beyonce leads the 2023 Grammy nominees with nine nods. Kendry Lamarck is close behind with eight, and Adele and Carla are tied with seven. Four contenders enter the race with six nominations apiece. Future, Harry Styles, Ble Ble Blige, DJ Khaled, and Randy Merrill. Beyonce, Adele, Styles, Lamar, and Liso being the five contenders who were each nominated in the top three all-general categories. Record, album, and song of the year. Less expectedly, Bleach and ABBA are both up for Record of the Year and Album of the Year. The very hot Stevie Lace Lacey also landed in two top categories, being put into contention for both Record and Song of the recently charting Topping Bad Habit. Um, well, I'm very excited. You know, you know, award season is one of my favorite seasons. Yesterday we talked about Oscar nominations. Now we have the Grammys. Girl, get ready. Okay, now let's talk about item number four because Mr. Justin Bieber has just sold um, his whole um, music rights and like he did like a whole thing. So, um, music superstars. And Justin Bieber on Tuesday joined a growing list of iconic singers who have struck mammoth deals to sell their music catalogs or, in some cases, their masters for hundreds of millions of dollars. The song management company Hip Hypnosis said that it had acquired the rights to Beaver's entire music catalog in an acquisition that ranks among the biggest deal ever made for an artist under 70. While terms were no disclosed, Billboard reported that the price tag was a hulking $200 million. Like this guy probably had could not, not do anything for the rest of his life. Like him, his kids, his grandkids, and they will all be fine, girl. I mean, like, inc incredible. And, you know, and we are here trying to pay fucking rent. Like, bitch, please. Anyways, that's it. That's the top up of the morning. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget my exclusive interview at 10 a.m. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out 
walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes, this is for you. Liquid IV will hydrate you twice as fast as water. Super convenient, little packs that you can take anywhere. They have all these amazing flavors, green apple, wild berry, lemon, lime, uh, the list goes on and on and on. So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now.